All right, what's going on, guys? Um, shit, I'm in. This fucking piece of shit. I already cussed, so the video is probably gonna get demonetized, but it's whatever. It's 11 o'clock right now, and um, yeah, I'm in my home facility gym. Obviously, it's well equipped, as you can see. Listen, I just I want to say something because. I've noticed a repetitive cycle in this planet that we live in, and it's that all of us, we all have certain ambitions and dreams that we want to accomplish. You know, we have these like visions that we, we, we genuinely deep in our hearts, we want to get with the bottom of our hearts, man. Like we fucking want that shit, bro. And like literally we say to ourselves, we're not going to let anything stop it. But then a bunch of curves and fucking obstacles just come the way and we just, we just, we give up, we let it go. And we think about realistic shit, right? And it pisses me off because I know so many people, I have friends personally, you know, that, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to name their names or anything, but I'll, I'll say this one, for example, right? This, this guy wanted to be like a voice actor. The problem with this guy, and I, I see this in a lot of people, not just him, but he gets this, this, this feeling of like, oh, it's risky, you know, I'm going to lose money and oh my God, I don't know how long it's going to take until I get paid or until I start getting like jobs and, and auditions and this and this and that. And guys, this is fucking bullshit, bro. Think about what you're saying before you actually say it, dude, risks, you know, we fucking wake up every day and every day we wake up in the morning, we're taking a risk because I might not even fucking wake up tomorrow. I might be fucking dead of a heart attack because this stupid motherfucker that you're watching right now doesn't even do cardio, all right? And I fucking gas out just going up on the stairs. Like, you never know what the fuck can happen to you, okay? And so saying that there's risks involved is so cliche and so overly played out because there's risks with everything, bro. You think there's not risk going to fucking school, going to college, getting that degree? Like. I mean, I don't know, what kind of fucking degree are you looking for, right? If you want to be an engineer, a lawyer, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like certain degrees are like, okay, you're going to make some bank. You know, you pass those classes, you get that degree, you're going to make some fucking bank, right? But then there's other degrees that it's like, what the fuck are you going to use it for? I'm just going to be honest. I hear some people that they talk to me and they're like, oh, I'm getting a degree in uh, communications and this and this. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to diss anybody that's doing any of these like, you know, uh, careers, um, but it's like, what the fuck is that career going to give you? Like, if it satisfies you, if it's something that like genuinely will make you happy, then go ahead, do it by all means. I'm not here to judge. Right. But there's some people that just, they go into a random field because they don't know what they want to do in life. And they just think, okay, I don't know what the fuck I want to do. I don't know where I'm going to be or where I want to be. So I'm just going to go to college. And I'm just going to study something. And I'm not saying it's easy. You know, if you want to be a fucking actor, you're going to lose a lot of time sleeping, dog. All right. You're going to lose a lot of time hanging out with people that you want to hang out with. You know, you're going to lose chances of, you know, going to the club, getting a girl, hanging out with girls, fucking getting a girlfriend. You know, it's crazy because like a prime example will really, <laughs> it's funny saying this shit because I look back at the movie um, Whiplash. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. I think it's called Whiplash. Whiplash. I think so. It's, I'm sure it's called Whiplash, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's, uh, the main character is um, J.K. Simmons. Awesome fucking actor. As well as uh, the guy who played on um, Top Gun. Miles Teller. Miles Teller. So uh, J.K. Simmons and Miles Teller, right? These are the main actors of this movie. And basically, uh, Miles Teller, you know, he wants to become a professional drummer. Right? He wants, to, he wants to fucking be really good at it, right? He wants to be the best that he possibly can be and just out blow everybody out of the fucking water, right? And, you know, it's crazy because I, there was one point in the movie where he had a girlfriend, you know? And it got me emotional. I'm not going to fucking lie. It, it got me emotional in this part because he said to his girlfriend one day, he was at like a cafe place or some shit with her, and he said to her, he's like, I'm breaking up with you. We need to, we need to break up. And then she was like getting all emotional. She's like, why? And she was just frozen because he's like, listen, like, I want to be great. And I want to be one of the best people in the world at this shit, right? I I'm kind of really saying it like in a fucking stupid ass way because I cannot give you exactly what the guy fucking said. I don't remember the, the clip, right? But you can watch it for yourself if you look it up on fucking YouTube, Whiplash, breakup scene. And he was like, 
I want to be one of the greatest. And, you know, spending time with you, you're going to envy me because I'm going to have all my time towards drumming. And then I'm going to start envying you because you're going to envy me for doing what I love. And it's just going to make us break farther and farther apart. And we're going to just eventually end up in bad terms. And so to avoid that, I'm just going to break it off clean right here because I want to be one of the best. And that was just beautiful. It's beautiful because literally like the point I'm trying to make here with these like little stupid ass movie scenes is that it's not too far from reality, guys, right? It's just the truth is that some people are not willing to do what it takes to get to that level. And I understand that, and that's not to bash people. That's not really to like say like, oh, you ain't good, you ain't good, bitch. You ain't shit. Oh, you couldn't even do this? You're sad. Oh, you give up. Like, honestly, at the end of the day, there's a lot of people who are just not meant for it. They're not meant for achieving that high lengths of greatness. And that's perfectly okay, right? But. I'm saying this to you guys because somebody as myself, I feel like, I genuinely, I, I feel like I wanna reach for the stars, man. Like, I wanna reach for the fucking stars. I wanna reach for the moon. I, I wanna do shit, bro, that you guys don't even know a quarter of what the fuck I wanna do. And I, I don't wanna say everything, but like, I wanna do some crazy shit, bro, you know? And, and I know I'm gonna do some crazy shit, you know? Like, all the time, bro, I get people fucking talking so much fucking shit about me. You're not going to reach a million subscribers. You're small. You need a fucking workout and, you know, actually take some fucking protein in. You look anorexic. You don't know how to talk to girls. You're cringy. Stop interviewing. You don't know how to fucking interview people. You ask boring questions, blah, 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 all this bullshit. They talk all this shit about me. You look ugly. You got a fat ass nose. I do have a fat ass nose, but that's besides the point. The point is, is that all this hate and all this criticism, you're going to get the same exact thing with you guys as well. Maybe... Maybe not on the internet because maybe you're not pursuing social media if you are trying to or you already are You're gonna fucking get that. I'm telling you right now But if you're not and you're trying to do something behind the scenes in your real life You're gonna get that as well Maybe just not as much or as openly but the truth is is that a lot of people they fucking hate on you because it's a projection Okay, I was about to spit because I thought it was outside, but no, it's not it's a projection based off within themselves and they're just projecting it onto you because they feel like you're doing something great in life and they want to fucking destruct that shit. They want to tear you down because they feel so low themselves and instead of building themselves up, they want to try to tear you down to bring you at the same level, if not lower than you, than them. So they feel higher and that's their way of bringing themselves up. Right. And the truth is, bro, is let them fucking hate. Let them talk shit. Let them say you can't do it. Let them say that you don't have the balls to go out there and achieve your fucking dreams. Oh, look at Arnold Schwarzenegger, bro. Motherfucker was the epitome of bodybuilding. He literally made bodybuilding, in my opinion, for what it is now. He, he gave the name of bodybuilding. He became one of the most notorious bodybuilders. He became a fucking governor of California. He became the most world-renowned fucking actor. And the dude didn't even speak English right, bro. Yeah, he fucking read a script, practiced his lines, Again, and again, and again, and again, he trial and error, trial and error, failing, stuttering, not talking right, not saying this as clearly, and he fucking became one of the most famous actors that we know today, especially in the United States. Guys, the point I'm trying to make here is follow your fucking dreams, dude. Follow your fucking dreams, man. And if you don't have a passion yet, that's, that's okay. It doesn't even matter if you're old or not. It doesn't matter if you don't have a passion, Go out there, explore a bunch of fucking avenues. Cause I'm telling you right now, there's gonna be one where you're gonna go, oh my God, I kinda like that. Oh my God, that was cool too. Maybe you're gonna drop one and then go to another one, right? But like, you're going to find your avenue and then you just gotta pursue that shit all the way, bro. 100, right? And so there's a lot of things in life that are distractions. And I realize this, bro. I'm, I just turned 21 and I fucking realize this shit. And this is no joke. I'm not even fucking with you guys. You see all around how it's legal to now go to clubs when you're 21, to drink, to do this, to do that. Maybe some countries it's younger, 18, 16, I, I don't know. But it's a fucking distraction, bro. That's what it is, that's all it is. Going to the clubs, you're wasting your fucking time. I am so sorry. Anybody who goes out there consistently to the clubs, I'm letting you know right now, for the first time ever, I just went to the most popular clubs in Miami. A club that you have to pay a fee to get in, which is over $100. Only did it, because it was for a fucking video. And no, I didn't pay, I got in for free. But that's for a YouTube video that we don't gonna talk about right now because you guys are gonna see that in the near future. Trust me, it's a fucking banger. And I was like, what the fuck? I see all these girls drunk, 
rich guys buying tables, getting these girls over. You see five, 10, 15 girls around one fucking simp ass motherfucker that just has money. Singers, DJs, fucking, I'm not gonna lie, they were putting some fucking music. I'll tell you right now, they were putting some good shit, all right? But you see that? People jumping, dancing, high, drugged up on fucking a bunch of shit, drunk. What the fuck is this for? I've asked people. I've literally asked them, why do you go here? What, what do you like about this place? I just keep my problems. You know, <laughs> stress. <laughs> fucking NPC ass answers, bro. You're a fucking NPC if that's your answer. To escape stress? To forget about my problems? What the fuck is that? Are you an NPC, dog? What the fuck is that? Like, I'm sorry, but... I don't want to sound like that guy, but you know, you got to stop. You got to stop the fucking clubbing or at least put a limitation on it. Stop the fucking vaping or at least put a limitation on it. Stop doing the drugs. Just stop. Do something that's actually going to benefit you in life, all right? Try to make money. Try to start up a business. Take some fucking chances, bro. Go up to that girl that you saw on the street that you thought was very beautiful. Or maybe you see her on a consistent basis, whether it's in the gym, at your job, at a fucking street that you surpass every fucking day or week or whatever the fuck, and you consistently see her. It doesn't matter. You saw her at the supermarket, go up to her. Go talk to her. Because you never know. Maybe that could be your wife one day. Honestly. Shit works like that. It's fucking crazy. But I just see too many people. They just, they fucking, they just, they, they stop. They just let it go. They die. They're alive, but they're not alive. You're fucking dead, and you're living. You're a living, dead soul. You're doing a fucking job you hate. You're with a girl you don't even fucking like. You're going to college for a degree you don't even fucking give a shit about that. Probably you're failing because of how much you don't give a shit about it, or you're just skipping the fucking classes, and you're just going to end up flunking. What the fuck is, like, what is this, man? Wake up, guys. Wake the fuck up. You cannot go wrong with following your vision. Follow your vision, follow your dream, and don't be a dumbass about it. I'm not over here saying, oh, I want to be a fucking porn star. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. It's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics and road to 1 million subscribers once again. And we're fucking out. Boom. Follow your dreams.